Ready, yeah? Oh, there you are. Ready, yeah? You look like Bear Grylls coming out of the woods. <laughs> what on earth are we doing down here and what is all of this? So, for Fun Fact Friday today, what we're going to do is do some enrichment for some of the animals. Enrichment, what does that mean? Um, so, obviously, we've had no visitors for a while, so the animals are used to people being around and attention, so we have to give them different things to do, keep them occupied. Um, so we're down here collecting some browse for the goats. And we're going to see the goats first? We are going to see the goats first. Yes! <laughs> right, let's go. I'll follow you. So here we are in my favourite enclosure, we're with the goats and tell us about goat enrichment. Okay, so you saw us in the woods cutting down some browse, um, so we've got to make sure it's safe for them. We give them a lot of willow, um, hazel, beech, and things like that, the sort of stuff they would naturally come across. Um, gives them a bit of variety, so not just on the grass or their main hedgerow, but as you can see behind us, it encourages them to climb and just be a bit active as well. Absolutely, and they certainly sound like they love it too. They are, it does keep them very happy. Fantastic, right, thank you very much goats. Enjoy your twigs and leaves. Uh, where to next? Um, so we're off to the meerkats. Let's go, I'll follow you. <laughs> meerkats, how are we enriching the meerkats? <laughs> okay, so we've got a few different items here today. So first one, as it's so hot today, made these this morning. So these are balls of ice with a little bit of fruit in. Oh, lovely. Um, so they're about to roll them around, um, cool off with the ice, and then they get a little reward at the end. Oh, wow. Oh, you can see it all in there. Fab, OK. And what's in the box? Um, so in this box here, so this is their normal lunch. So this is a nice pot of mealworms. Um, but today, rather than just scattering it around, we'll put it inside this box here. Ah. Um, so this box is filled with egg boxes, toilet roll, bits of paper. So we scatter the worms in like that, close the box up, then they have to break into the box and dig around for their food. Right, well, let's see it in action, shall we? So it's full of worms, here you go, Elliot. Yeah, that's yep. safety equipment all on, you've got your boots on. Let's have a look, let's watch them go. So, emu enrichment. Here we are, and they seem to be really enjoying this. What have you done here? Um, so what we do, on these, especially these hot days, we flood around the water trough area and actually create a mud wallow. So as you can see, they like bathing in it, they're rolling around in it. So especially this hot weather, it does help cool them down, but it also acts like a sun cream, so the mud dries on them and actually protects their skin and feathers, also keeps parasites off. So it's actually really good for them and just, you know, just like us putting sun cream on, really. And you can tell they really enjoy it as well, which is really nice to see. Fab. Right, what's next? So, it's monkey time. Monkey enrichment, and what is this exciting contraption? Um, so this is actually a toy designed for cats. Um, it's meant for cat treats, but instead of cat treats, I've put mealworms in it today. Oh, so there you have to spin it round and tip the worms out, and then get them off the little plate here. Okay, and here he is. He looks very excited. Who are the mamas there? We've not met them yet. Uh, so we have two common mamas there here. So we've got Casper, who is in front here, and Greg is... Hiding somewhere there he is, he's behind me. Oh, that's bad. So there you go, we've well and truly learned that enrichment is quite important, isn't it? It is, yeah, especially with the marmosettes, they are very, very intelligent animals and they need to be kept occupied. It's, it's a bit like keeping Todd occupied during lockdown. <laughs> lots of toddlers, <laughs> spread out in lots of different fields. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Elliot. I'll definitely learn something today and hopefully you all have that space. But for myself, Elliot, and everyone's still here at Freely, see you next see week. week.